Hi guys, this is Magical Lady Duchess and I decided tonight to, it's a full moon. And so Ooh. I normally do a lot of baneful things because it's about releasing for me. And so I normally do um, a lot of releasing. I do a lot of, um, I guess, hex work, you can say separation work. I do a lot during this time of uh, the full moon. Because for me, the full moon is releasing. It's getting things out and, you know, on. Um, this is, I, I bought this and I think you guys should d get it too. It's called the Spellcaster's Workbook. And it's a grimoire and it's spell paper and it literally all of my um, spells that I do for people uh, for client work. It's a great way to keep up with it. I just thought I would share this. I mean, they, ain't, you know, um, I got it off of uh, I got it off of uh, Amazon, and it's a really good way for you to keep up with your spells. Not necessarily if you doing it for somebody else. But just to be able to keep up with it, even for yourself. I'm really big on templates. I even create my own. But just to keep it in a book, I like to um, I like to do that. So when my clients, um, they're like, well, when did you, you know, when did you do it? Because I sent them pictures. But I like being able to keep up with stuff. I'm really, I'm a big um, stickler about keeping up with stuff like I have to keep up with it and so for me um, I keep up with it on the computer but I also I like the black and white so a lot of you guys was like I want to see you do some work so I decided I was gonna do some work I'm gonna talk to you while I'm doing a video um, some parts I will show some I won't um, just a warning for people who think that I'm a light worker. I'm not. <laughs> I like to say that I'm balanced. I'm a balanced worker. Um, one, uh, one thing that I do perform um, a lot of, and I'm not bragging or anything like that. I'm just stating the fact I do a lot of miscarriage work. And I know that probably will make, you know, some of you guys not uh subscribe to me anymore i want to um watch me anymore but i feel like balance is always what we should be and i think that there's a cause and effect um in everything and i'm just filling this out because uh what i normally do is like my clients now, of course, you got to sign a contract with me, but I also make it where I make a report and um, who participated in it. If I had you doing some work or somebody else was helping me, it talks about if I invoked in a deity or anything like that. Um, what moon was it? Was it wand and wax and full moon, new moon, that type of thing? Um, I give a description of what I'm going to be doing, my ingredients. Uh, my immediate feelings and effects of it and then um, I also do like a follow-up like a manifestation date that I give it a tentative date in working and also like the results now with that being said um, this client watches my videos a lot so uh, girl I'm doing your stuff for tonight <laughs> as I promised you but um I just wanted to talk about left hand, so to speak. And I've talked about left hand before. I'm going to find the, um, I'm going to find my other videos and I'm going to post them, uh, the link so that you can look at them as well. Um, I just wanted to dispel, I guess, some of the misconception. Yeah, it's a bone. Um, to dispel some common misconceptions about the dark arts are, um, witchcraft or a hoodoo and 
voodoo and stuff like that and how it applies to le the left hand um, side of magic. To me, true magic is neither light nor dark. I think it's the heart of the person, the intent of the person. So many people think that voodoo and hoodoo is bad and it's not, especially if you're just coming into, um, if you're just coming into the pad and you're trying to figure out, you know, uh, my shirt says frequent flyer, my little sweatshirt. Um, you're trying to figure out what pad is best for you. And so I feel like you should learn them all or a piece of them all so that you could decide if that's what you want to do. So I'm really big on it. I'm really big on it. I'm really big on the education of it. Um, now, like, don't get me wrong. You can choose either light or dark, but this is your choice. And I'm not here to bash anybody for what they do. I'm not here for anybody to bash me because it's, it's left up to you. There are a lot of things that we are constantly evolving as practitioners and stuff like that um, that I didn't do at first that I do now because I understand the ramifications of it. I have an understand better of the magic of it, so to speak. And a lot of times I don't think that a lot of people have that. I think that they watch a couple of videos or they read a couple of books and they're like, I'm just ready to do some shit. Because a lot of people fall up under magic because... They trying to get a man back in something in particular. And it's not because this is like their path and they just want to follow it. They're doing it to get somebody or to get something. And people don't even understand that love work is literally dark workings. It's not a white magic because you're doing manipulation. And a lot of people don't even get that either. I keep telling you guys that many people teach from their level of understanding, not 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 necessarily yours. But I try to teach it in such a simplistic way that will make people think, oh, she don't know what she's talking like. She, it's not that. I'm just talking at the level of a person who's coming in who has found my video through whatever means and they're trying to just figure this out because we all just trying to figure it out. I don't care if you've been doing it for a long time. Nobody just knows it all. And if you think that you do, girl, please, or boy, please, because that's just not what it is. Um... So the term dark magic or dark arts, they are both described under occultism and it's always bad. And dark doesn't necessarily mean bad. It's just a darker workings. I mean, because when you think about it, everything is a manipulation, good or bad, white or dark. I like to say balanced. People literally think that voodoo is evil. Did you know that the word voodoo, voodoo, it actually means God? It actually means the spiritual, omnipotent being. It means God. People don't even know that hoodoo is a practice. It is not a actual religion. It's a practice of voodoo and Catholicism using Psalms and Proverbs and different parts of the Bible. That's hoodoo. Voodoo is something completely different. It's a religion. It's a religious culture. It's a being. It's a whole entity. Okay? People don't even understand that you can be a Wicca and not practice witchcraft. And you can practice witchcraft and not be a Wiccan. People have to get that there are different meanings and different... It, one doesn't necessarily constitute the other. One is not right or wrong. It's all about who you it's all about what you choose to do with it and what you choose to get out of it hoodoo is a, even voodoo these you're talking about witchcraft basically is using herbs and things of the earth candle magic is really fairly new because most of the people that came before us wasn't using candle magic they were using fire magic they would write things down write things out and they would burn them even in hoodoo, people think that their incense are used a lot. No, they burn herbs because different herbs mean different things. I have videos about herbs and stuff too. So I'm always like, 
trying to educate the best of my ability. I'm still learning. I don't know it all. Nobody fucking do. <laughs> so I have to say that even the word nature, nature, that word refers to not only the stuff going around you, but it includes human nature as well. People don't even get that. So when you talk about light and dark, it's really your intention. People think because you be a bitch and you be mean, that means you a dark worker and that means you're powerful. And that don't even mean it. That just means you a mean bitch. And most mean bitches was made mean by people being mean to them. Hurt people hurt people. So I always say get to know yourself first, your own personal energy, your own personal power before you decide what it is that you want to do. To be balanced, we have to understand that the dark aspects of our own nature, you understand what I'm saying? By your intentions, that's what makes it light or dark. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm not editing it out. <laughs> Shit. All right. So another point that I need to make upfront and clear about dark magic is that while often it's kind of stigmatized by mainstream spiritual paths, aka Christians and stuff like that, it's a set of techniques, really, that are useful for anyone that's embracing the entire self holistically, you know. Um, the dark arts are best employed by those who work with the light sides of nature, really. Because it's all, it's all, it's all magic. It's all manipulation. Even if you are doing healing magic, you're manipulating the sick into healthy. Even if you're doing money magic or abundance or prosperity work or anything like that, it's still pretty much the same thing. It's manipulation. So when you think about it, anything that's manipulating something from one thing to another, it's all kind of like the same. Now, if you want to get into labels that people that, you know, uh, people that worship satanic or the devil or whatever like that. Like for a person like me, I don't think that the devil exists. I think that that's just an excuse. People have to have a scapegoat. I don't have a scapegoat for what I do. What I do is just what I do. Good, bad, or indifferent. If I do something, hopefully, and I offended somebody, hopefully I have the opportunity to make amends. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. A lot of times people think that they could talk to you any kind of way. And if you respond to what they're giving out, then they're the victim and you're the villain because you ain't crying and you ain't upset and you ain't as emotional as them. I tell people all the time, do not book any type of appointment or anything with me for work, readings, consultations. If you are not ready for the truth, a lot of people don't want to hear that. They are used to people like sugarcoating stuff to them and, and sugarcoating shit to them and making it a light when it's when they really need to be doing the fucking work themselves. And they get mad when I say it. Listen, I'm not the end all to be all. If you want a psychic, go to a psychic because I've never claimed to be that. If you want to go to a medium, go to a medium. I've never claimed to be that. But what I am is an oracle reader. What I am is a spiritual guider. You know, I'm guiding you to something. I want you to be better. I've had people tell me, I don't want you to life coach me. I don't want you to teach me to change something. I just want him. Well, bitch, maybe you need to change so you can get him and keep him. Maybe you the motherfucking reason why the relationship ain't what it is. My job is to pull that shit out through the roots and make it work for you. Sometimes it's a lighter side of work. Sometimes it's a little bit darker. It just depends on the situation. Everything in magic is situational. It's not scientific because scientific means it's 100%. And if we were scientists and we can make shit 100%, I'll be a whole lot richer. Real talk. So I just want you guys to understand about magic, light or dark. Like literally you talking about um, traditionally. They make you think that it's demonic evoca uh, evocation, summoning, summoning of like evil spirits and integral spirits and breaking the taboos and sexual rights and sexual rights and necromancy and shape shifting. And listen, there is so much to learn in this. If you do it the right way, even if you do use an integral spirit, you can send it back. Because most spirits that people use that are so-called trickster spirits, anybody can use them. Anybody. 
You just have to make sure that your intent is good, that your ori is clear, and you have a concise thing in mind. That's why I like to write this stuff down because it gives me time to write it out. I need to see it. People don't even do that when they do witchcraft and magic. They just do some shit. They don't set any personal goals that they wrote it down in black and white so that it, it to, to see it personify and, and come into a physicality. I'm a teacher, if nothing else. I am a teacher of the craft. I love the craft. I love the fact that I have about 29 students I'm teaching. I teach classes on also reading tarot and they're like six to eight weeks out. Like I am a teacher. I love teaching this the right way. And I'm never going to rush or push anybody out there to do anything that they're not comfortable with. Left or right hand, that's always your decision. But remember, it clearly starts with your intent. It clearly starts with your heart. Um, my thing is take your time, read, research, study to show yourself approved to yourself. You understand what I'm saying? Because the only way that you're ever going to get anything, believe it or not, is if you study. And then when you study, then you practice. And then when you practice, write it down, take notes. That's how you become a good practitioner. That's how you become balanced and centered and grounded. That's what I think. Tell me what you think, what light and what dark magic is and how it applies to you. I would love to read your comments and have a discussion about it. Many blessings to you. I'm going to finish this work that I'm doing and um, I'll talk with you later. Bye.